some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop in Houston, Missouri, where a police officer is interviewing a potentially intoxicated suspect. But things eventually go south, as you shall soon see, and it is not due to a frauditor, but from another source. I would give my normal spiel about sitting back and relaxing and all that BS, but I don't think you'll want to relax in this case. So let's just get on with the show. And I will provide links in the description to those who want to watch the video or pass it along. <laughs> It's right down here. Hold on, you're not going anywhere. Stay right there. You got a camera that shows him driving up? I don't know how to work it. Okay, but do you have one? Okay, I need to talk to you real quick. Come here. Here, let me see that ruler. Can I have that? I gotta poop. Okay, well, you can hold on. So, here's the situation. I got a call stated that they believe that you'd be intoxicated. Okay. Have you had anything to drink today? No. No? So, no. Nah, nothing to drink today at all? No. You, no. What you no. Nope. Nope. Okay, because you kind of seem like your eyes are a little watery, kind of glassy, a little bit of bloodshot. Is that your car out front? Yep. It is? Yep. Would you mind taking a breathalyzer test for me? No. You won't? No. You won't? I'm been driving. You haven't been driving, so when we pull that camera up up there, it's not going to show you driving that motor vehicle? No. Right it's not? No. Okay. So here's what I'm going to need you to do, bud. I'm trying to work with you here and help me out. So, you've been drinking? No. It looks like you've been drinking. I can smell it. How much have you had to drink today? None. None? No. Okay. So I'm not going to play these games. Okay. You can sit here in denial. You want back and smell the alcohol. Okay. And. Okay. Are you going to take some breathalyzer test for me real quick? No. You won't? For what? Because you drove that vehicle up here. I didn't drive okay. it. Sir, do I have to detain you? For what? Hey, 12 I'm now a subject. For driving while intoxicated. You're not driving. I'm not blood and driving. Okay, sir. They stated they seen you drive up here. You're intoxicated. I'm not going to allow you to. Who said that. I drove it? Sir, I'm not going to tell you who. I'm just telling you what I've observed. Okay. Okay. Or will you be willing to take some tests for me to allow you to operate no. your motor vehicle? Okay. No. Well, then you're not going to operate that motor vehicle. Well, all right, then. All right. Let it be. I have Jay's hauling. No, so we're, here's the deal. Did you operate that vehicle coming in here? No. Okay, so I'm going to detain you. Go ahead and turn and put your hands behind your back. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Turn around and put your hands behind yeah. your back. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm going to detain you right now. You're not under arrest. But I'm going to detain you until I can find out if you've operated that motor vehicle up here. When I find out you operate that motor vehicle up in an intoxicated condition, you will be placed under arrest for driving underneath the influence of alcohol. Do you understand? 4.30 in the afternoon and he's already this lit up. Boy, he's been drinking for a while. Do you understand? Right, come on. Oh. Hey, so now I'm one thing. you have a driver's license on you? Sir, do you have a driver's license on you? Okay, we can play that game too, bud. Have Jay's come get my fucking car. Alright, 
Alright, hold well, on. You have a driver, you got a wallet on you, bud? I have Jay's phone get my car. What? I didn't do nothing, man. You drove your car up here drunk, and I'm going to go back here and review those cameras. I didn't drive up Sir, you truck. are obviously intoxicated. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. Take a step back. Not as bad as I can get. Okay, but you still are. Correct. Go ahead and have a seat right there for me. Again, you're not under arrest right now. You're just being detained while investigating this. For what? For driving while underneath the influence of alcohol. I'm not driving. Sir, I'm going to ask you to step in that vehicle, or I'm going to well, arrest you for not doing it. I'm going to give you a lawful pants. order. Sir, your pants are fine. Step in the vehicle. Well, i got to get my pants pulled up. You don't have anything? God damn, pull my pants up. Your britches are up. You're good. Now get in the vehicle. Sir, step in the vehicle. Turn around, put your butt down. Shit. I'm trying. Alright, well, I'm taking time with you. I'm being gentle with you. Alright. 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 All right. Hang tight for me, real quick. Alright. Sorry. You'll be alright. A12 now or a J2 when ready. Last name of Watts, William, Adam, Tom, Tom, first name Jeffrey, John, Edward, Frank, Frank, Edward, Robert, Young, middle initial is W as in William, date of birth of 1971, 03-01. Is there anybody you can call to get the camera? Uh, uh, it's Sunday. It's uh -huh. normally closed because they're doing whatever. Mm -hmm. I called Jeremy a while ago. Um, I could call Carla and see if Willie could come up. That'd be chance. great. I'd really appreciate it. Jordan? Yep. Okay. I called Jeremy and he was like, take his number and if he can wait till first thing in the morning, he says, I'll get no, it I, I And need, I was like, so I, I need don't it think tonight. they're going to wait. No, I need it tonight. I can't arrest you on a suspicion without having to... Oh, he scared the shit out of me. I'm so glad did he, he came in. When did he you did. see him when he came in? Absolutely. He came in and he... Well, the other officer was in here. He was walking in and he was like, I've already got that fool once. And I was like, okay. I said, dude, he don't need to be driving and whatever. He just now walked out. I was like, watch my pregnant daughter out there on the road. And he said, I'll get her too. I, I, I like, can smell him. He's awful. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's talking about he just got out of county, something, I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, he was from last night. Woo. Hey, Andy. He's drunk as hell. Could you watch him on my passenger side, make sure you don't try and kick out my window or something? Yeah. Thanks. I just arrested him yesterday. He was drunk yesterday, too. Was he? That's what he was saying, but I need to review the camera. She stated he did come in, so as long as I can see it, yeah. I'm going to take him. Thanks. This man that has just entered the picture is the owner of the gas station, Willie Walker. He also happens to be the mayor of Houston, Missouri. He and his friend Jeremy Foster are about to throw a wrench into the works of this investigation. Uh, guy, he's drunk. I need to see the camera. Huh? This is a drunk guy. It's My cool. cameras are for you guys. No. Okay. Ever. Ever. Okay. okay. So. These are private cameras. Right, so. Okay. I want it in writing that you even requested that. 
Okay, I can give it to you, William Rodney. That's fine. I mean, you're fucking done, dude. I'll tell you right now. I'll fucking handle with your ass. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Why are you so pissed off? The guy is only doing his job right now. He's acting as professional as he can. Okay, dude. No, not no. Okay, dude. Nothing. I've had it with your fucking ass. Seriously. Yeah. No, we don't do that. Ever. Okay, so. What, I got. what are you doing here in this parking lot? Your lady called me and said that you got a drunk guy here getting ready to leave. So to keep a guy from getting on the road, come down here, found him, he's drunk. So keep him from getting in the vehicle. I'm asking to see if I can see the cameras to no. prove that he drove up here. No. 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 We're not doing that. I would never do that for any citizen. These are private cameras, okay? I'm not with people getting watched all the time. So, are you with the Chile de Castro school of thought that driving while intoxicated is a victimless crime? Well, let me ask you something from you sitting in your high tower. Have you ever been to an accident scene where there was a drunk driver and but that was the cause of it? I have plenty of times. I've had to clean up the body parts off the side of the road. I've seen the blood-stained highways. I've smelled the burning human flesh. I know children who have lost parents due to situations like that. Husbands who have lost wives due to an intoxicated driver. Wives who have lost husbands. And here you say you're not going to do that to a citizen? A citizen who is quite possibly intoxicated? Well, how many citizens have to die because you made that decision? How many husbands will lose wives? How many wives will lose husbands? And how many parents will lose children because you made that decision? And you sit across the road over here for a day for an hour and 15 even, minutes watching my place. As a business I'm owner, not watching. I'm running traffic. He's even asked owner, me to do said thing. I, to watch traffic. As a business owner, nobody's going to come and buy anything from the liquor store if the cops sitting across there. It's not good for business. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You're a liar. You said she called the cops and she did not call the cops. I did not call the cops. Well, somebody called the police. That's not a big issue. The big issue here is your hostility. Okay, somebody... So you're a fucking liar! Sir, I'm gonna tell you to get calm the down. fuck out of here! Sir, I'm gonna... Fuck you! Get out of here! Sir, go! Stop. Sir, stop. Get the fuck out of here! Sir, I'm sick of you! Sir, you lied about that. You, you fucking lied! I didn't lie about nothing. She didn't fucking didn't call you! Up. You said she called. You okay. just said that. She you called just, or somebody called. You need to leave Get here. the fuck out of here. You Don't ever pull back on this parking lot again. You I told you that with one business. I'm telling you with this one. I'm telling you as a business owner, politely, you All need right. to leave here. We're, we're going to go. Maybe he's a fucking liar. Let's go. He's a fucking liar. Hey, Andy, we need to get his keys. Get the fuck out of here! Get in your car and get the fuck out of here! Hey, right now, I'm here lawfully for an investigation. No, you're not in my property. Yes, I am. Because no one calls you. Get out All of right, here. Alright, I'm going to call the chief. Andy, I want him gone. Do you want the car removed? No, leave the car there. Do you need the car? Huh? Do you need the car? No. Okay, he, he said he's fine with it there, so. Okay, that's fine. You want to grab his keys? Where is his keys? In the car. If he, does he want it secured or anything? We can just leave him in there. See, right now he's not arrested, he's just being detained. Okay. So until I can complete an investigation. So. Wow. Alright, bud, hold up. Check it what out. What the fuck was that about? Holy shit. What was that about? It's whatever. So here's the deal. Again, like I said, you're not being under arrest, okay? I'll what detain was that you. about? Will you listen to me for a second so I can get this done? Wow. Uh, again. That guy was a fucking I know. Dick. We're going to take care of that later on down the road. That's okay. He's a now listen dick. to me. Hey, listen to me, bud. What? Here's the situation. I'm not placing you underneath arrest, okay? I didn't observe you driving a motor vehicle, okay? Right. The lady up there did say you were driving it. 
Okay? Right. So here's what I'm going to do. You can walk out of here. Okay? I'm not going to place you under arrest. You're not getting in that car, though. If you get in that car, you are going to go to jail. Do you understand? The owner said he's fine with the vehicle being there, okay? So you ain't got to worry about getting towed. Okay. Out. But, Jeff, you're going to get stopped and get charged with DWI if you get in the car because obviously you've been drinking, all right? We can smell it. We can tell it. But talking to you, you've been drinking, all right? Don't get in the car. I like that guy. He's a nice guy. You good? He's a super right, hop nice on up. guy. Well, Stand for me. I guess I'll have to walk up. You'll have to walk back to Kabul, bud. Can you give me a ride? Huh? I will not give you a ride. I'm a municipal officer. I will not give I, you a ride. How come you let a guy talk to you like that? So, we're not letting that. It's going to be addressed and taken care of. I mean, son of a bitch. I uh, whipped that motherfucker's ass. Well. I mean. I'd have tore him out of the flame. Hey, take, take me to where he's at and I'll take care of him. I, I appreciate that, sir. So, again, I need I'll you. I'll call there and whip him. Okay, I'm going to need you to start walking, though, one way or the other, okay? I'm going to give you your stuff. Well, right. let me. I got to lock my car up. Okay, this deputy will sit with you while that car is locked, but you cannot operate that motor vehicle. Do you understand? Yep. Okay. Yep. Here's your stuff. Your license is in there. Uh, I'm going to have a chat with this deputy real quick, and we'll kick it. I'll, have, I'll call Jay's and have him. Have him tow it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can get that done, too. Let me across the road. Huh? Let me across the road. Okay. He said he's going to lock his car. Call Jay's and have him tow up. Okay. I'll pay to have it towed. Okay. I'll get Jay's in there. That way I can have a ride home. Okay. A twelve nine one one. Owner of the vehicle is requesting that Jay's come and tow it here at the pit stop. He'll be here with the vehicle. Not a controversy and confrontation in Houston, Missouri. The city's mayor and a police officer are at odds. Color 10 has obtained body camera video showing a heated argument between an officer investigating a possible DWI, Houston Mayor Willie Walker, and a nearby business owner. Color 10 Cindy Moran is live tonight at the gas station where the incident took place with how the police chief and others are responding. Bailey and Steve, the body cam video you're about to see is from November 27th. Now, the video is currently circling social media and has over 20,000 views. Some here in Houston tell me they're not happy with how the officer was treated. Sir, Go. stop. Sir, stop. To be anti law enforcement here, nobody's going to tolerate it. George Schultz lives outside of Houston. He works in town and heard about an argument with law enforcement and the mayor. Body camera video from November 27th shows a Houston police officer walking into the Highway 63 pit stop, which Mayor Willie Walker owns. He then goes inside and approaches a man who he believes drove to the gas station drunk. I got a call, stated that they believe that you'd be intoxicated. Okay. Have you had anything to drink today? No. No? The officer eventually detains the man and asks for a surveillance video to prove it. When Mayor Walker and others arrive, Walker refuses. Thanks. Uh, guy, he's drunk. I need to see the camera. Huh? Just a drunk guy. It's My cool. cameras are for you guys. No. Okay. Ever. Ever. Okay. Okay. So. These are private cameras. Right. So. Okay. I want it in writing that you even requested that. Things quickly escalate from there, with both men demanding the officer leave. You need to leave Get here. Get the f out of here. You Don't ever pull back on this parking lot again. I told leave. you that with one business. I'm telling you with this one. I'm telling you as a business owner, politely. You need right. to leave here. Uh, the mayor allowed it to happen. He was right there, and it riled me up. For Schultz, he didn't agree with how the situation was handled. We're not going to tolerate in our community anybody, elected officials specifically, that doesn't support law enforcement. But he was in the wrong because he allowed someone to disrespect law enforcement. I wouldn't allow a stranger to do it, and I'm certainly not going to allow a family member or a business partner to do it. Color 10 reached out to Mayor Walker. His office said he was not in the office Thursday, but neighbors like Schultz are wanting answers. 
you cannot be this way to law enforcement without repercussion. The police chief did send Cullerton a statement tonight at 830, saying this was an unfortunate and completely avoidable incident. I would like to commend Officer Jordan for his actions while dealing with this volatile situation. Officer Jordan showed a tremendous amount of professionalism and restraint when faced with a challenging situation and should be recognized for his actions. The Houston Police Department will always remain transparent and do everything in our power to protect the community. I'm currently still waiting to get a call back from Mayor Walker. Reporting in Houston, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First. I commend the officer for his professionalism in this situation, not allowing his emotions to get the better of him. He may have been mistaken on the part of who called him to that situation, but that's no reason for the other guys to get angry and call him a liar. As far as the mayor goes, if somebody had died because of the decision he made not to show the footage, then the blood would most certainly be on his hands.